Hello YouTube, Zippy2 here. Um, this is the Tekkit pack, Technic pack, using the Technic launcher. I'm going to show you how to make a teleporter, as I have done in my other old, um, game. Let's quickly go and show you <laughs> YouTube and teleporter. <laughs> Okay. My level seems like more for a bit. Let's see, this is it. Teleporter. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make this. So, what you're going to need first are a bunch of materials. You're going to need red alloy wire, MFSU levers, high voltage solar arrays, frequency transmitters, pulse formers, glass fiber cable. That's what you need. So, start with the uh, MFSU. So, just stand on any square. And just go, oops, one, and turn. You, like, you have to turn. You can't just try to place it without turning. Otherwise, it won't fa be facing each other. So, you want to like that. And, oh, I forgot one thing. You need a f the center part. You need a teleporter. Kind of important if you're teleporting. Be this thingy right here. You need to stick your teleporter in the middle. Okay. Then you need your glass fiber cable, and you just attach like this all of the um. or whatever they're called, what you call it's together. So then it looks like this from above. Then you come to one in the back, click off it like that. Then you get your high voltage solar array. You just place one here. Now I recommend doing this with five for the best, for the longest distance. Teleporter, I need your pipes again. Just connect it like that. So after you're done with all the pipe connections, that's what that should look like. Then you need to come over to here, and you just want to move about uh, two blocks. Dig two down, and dig in until you get to this. Now this is where you need your red alloy wire. This one here, here, here. Here, 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 right there, right there, right there. Uh, uh, oh, you know what? You may also need like a different kind of substance, like dirt or something. Dirt. No, I'm just gonna get the dirt. This is always annoying to me. Because you gotta, um. Here's where your, um. Pulse. Um. Your pulse former comes in. Oh, what's that so you do it from the top of the block, otherwise it won't be facing the right way. So it's like that. Another block of dirt and place a lever. One top order is now complete. Now, somewhere else. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go down over here. Oh my god, it's a fuck. That's so weird. Yeah, this is um, tech it again, so. Now we're gonna make the same formation again. This is where you, your, my exit teleporter is going to be. Okay. Do it just like I told you. I just watched a YouTube video on this to find out how to make a teleporter. You cannot do this un unless you're in tech -out, unless you know what mods you need for this. Which I don't. Okay, so that's created. And you want to have your uh, everything facing the same direction it was on the original. 
one that you created, otherwise it'll seem messed up. <laughs> when you teleport, because you'll be looking at the back, because the, uh, solar, these are basically solar panels will be based at the back. So then again, go over two, and then just, I think it's here. Go two down, and dig inward until you find this. And then again, you need this, just like that. So at this point you should already have one completed. Okay. Oh, there's another cow coming in. Okay, now I need another cover. Now the teleporters, both teleporters are created and they are now both charging up. Now here's a tricky part. So Oh no, it's not working. <laughs> Here's what you need, you f your frequency, frequency transmitter. So, I'm going to go back to my first block. Oh my gosh, it's a polar bear. <laughs> Again, mole creatures, tech it, launch, tech it. Okay, so we were back at this teleporter, and oh, it still doesn't work. So we're going to right-click on the teleporter block. Transmitter linked to a teleporter. Now we're going to come back to this one over here. And do the same exact thing. Right click on the teleporter. And now you can just click. Whoa, I'm over here now. <laughs> Let me put up my sound. Let me get the full effects of the sound. See? You don't want to use buttons though. Because I know a YouTube video I watched. If you have, if you use a button and you make the teleporters far enough apart that um, the exit is out of the loaded chunks, and you use the button, it'll go so fast it'll make you it'll like log you out of the server. So that's how you want to build it. You want to use levers. There's your basic teleporter. Oh, and I want to show you something kind of funny that I found on accident. It's an infinite teleporter that only goes to one location. See, now I'm back here, and I'm back to here now. So it's almost as if you were trying wanted to absolutely go to some place. It's kind of funny. <laughs> you can make it permanently active, so you just walk on and then you're in a location, and it never stops. See, that stuff is the teleporting stuff. Mm, I just messed up big time. Okay, well, so yeah, that's uh, that would be your basic teleporter. I do not want to fix that right now. But that's like because there's a constant flow of stuff. The pulse rumor makes a short pulse and whatnot. So yeah. Yeah. Um. I am going to try something. No, yeah, let's do it in this world. I'll just do it in this world. So I'm going to completely destroy this teleporter right here. And in the t in tech it, from what I know, they do not have the a other mod. That I don't know how to get. So you'd have to search that on YouTube. Sorry, fan, uh, YouTube watchers. I don't know how to do that. Now I'm going to see if the teleporter can transmit somebody d directly through the nether. And you get to watch me live action being creative with Minecraft. <laughs> I don't do too much, but I've still got some time, so I thought, why not? Okay, so I do not need the snowball. So I'm just going to get myself some obsidian and sort of dirt to get myself a flint and steel. Okay, here we go. 
Now this teleporter here has become my base teleporter. So I'm about to find out if the teleporter can take me through the nether. Another was kind of interesting, but obsidian always is so hard to get. So, yeah. There we go. Going into the nether. Building terrain. Entering the nether. Building terrain. To in the world for a bit. Okay, we are now. We have now transitioned to nether. God. The crap. I'm gonna get the surface. Yo! Okay. That was the strangest thing ever. I'm not gonna be able to get back out now. To my teleporter. So I'm just going to have to hope that it works. Although there isn't any, um. Oh, wait. There won't. I won't. There's no. There's no, uh. Sunlight source. I'll try it anyway. It's going to be very really difficult. Okay. No, oh, gotta get my glass. Weirdest place to spawn, you know, I'm like in the middle of the lava. <laughs> Seriously, what the crap? <laughs> Alright, um, let's just go this way. It probably won't work, but you know, it's worth a shot. One of the things I like about the not enough items G is that you always get a full stack whenever you decide to get some. The way you know which one is the teleporter is it has a black, or not a black, I mean white uh, bottom. This is going to work. Here it goes. Link to a teleporter. Now I gotta go find my uh, exit here. I need to figure out how to get out. Ah, uh, this is interesting. You can see everything beneath the nether or lava. I mean. Now there should be. I'm not mistaking a randomized gap. Hmm. I don't see it though. Like I honestly don't see any hole that I could have come out through. <laughs> this is what I don't like about this thing's nether or end. You, yeah, nether. You can never find your way out. Hey. Ender diamonds. That's different, actually. 